Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Guys, we're going to continue on with the beers that Josh has sent me. Uh, and like I told you earlier, yesterday, the day before, when we got into his beers, uh, I don't drink a lot of stouts anymore because of the calorie content. So he has sent me a barley wine and two stouts that I'm going to be doing, and I can't think of the last stout that I've done. It's been quite a while because I've real, and I have a closet full of them in there and the other half's been sipping on occasionally because I'm not drinking those heavy beers now, usually. Now, and especially now that it's summertime. Uh, uh, so, uh, we shall see uh, what uh, this brings to the table. This is Evil Twins. Even more Xmas. From my dear friend, Jeppy, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, he makes some really tasty dark beers. Made very well. 99% of them are like 12%. Uh, this one, that looked on the bottom, says Happy Holidays 2022. So, this comes from, uh, again, Josh. The magnanimous spirit he sent. And... Uh, a couple of them were fresh pickups. Uh, this may be even one of the fresh pickups. I'll have to look again. But a couple of them were out of his private collection uh, that he'd been saving or selling. So, and I do appreciate that. Anytime somebody's pulling something out of their private, not just buying it to send, uh, it's it's special. I mean, it it means a lot when somebody's pulling stuff out of their cellar to send to me. So, again, thanks a bunch, Josh. I do appreciate it. Uh, this uh, Imperial Stout with almonds, vanilla, musc muscovado sugar, maple syrup, marshmallow coffee, raspberry, and chocolate. Man, I bet this thing costs. $25 a can with all that stuff in there. And Evil Twin beers are very pricey. They are around here in Virginia, uh, especially here uh, around the Roanoke area. Uh, when I go over to craft beer store, Martin usually has these these beers uh, from him over there, but they are very, very expensive. You won't buy an Evil Twin beer over there probably for less than 20 bucks. Guarantee it won't be less than 15 for a 12 percenter. They're pricey around here. So, again, but they're very well made. Now, some of the other stuff, eh, I wasn't so impressed, but all these dark, heavy stouts that are blended with all this stuff that he does, uh, they're usually pretty tasty, so I'm hoping this is going to be the case on this one. And I'm not going to be disappointed, and Josh is not going to be disappointed, and you're not going to be disappointed. So, before anybody gets disappointed, let's move along. Alright, let's jump over to Untap. Uh, I already told you what they brewed it with. Notes of chocolate, roasted malt, and caramel with accents of dark berries, vanilla, coffee, maple, and nuts. Full bodied and sweet. Looks like molasses in the glass here on Untap, guys. So, this being a 12% with a 2022 Happy Holidays, so I would say it was November or December. So, it's six months plus uh, to the glass. Here we go. Yep, and very typical looking of some of his. I mean, uh, just had a slight hint of a little bit of light coming through there, but it is pitch black in the glass, trust me. And you see, it's not pouring any head whatsoever. A lot of these big ABB beer do not, especially the stout. So we're going we're gonna to kick it up a notch or 12 here. I hope it don't kick it up 12 because I don't want to clean up a mess. But we're doing the massive swirly swirl to get everything out of there and get it all roused up a little bit. And now we're going to do a direct down the center. Come 
was able to get it all in there. It didn't rouse up too much. So, but I do want to get it all in there, like I said, because this is a very, very pricey beer to purchase, and I don't want to leave any of it in there. And it's still coming out. You can see it. Look at the foam. It's still rolling out of it. And you can see it. It's, 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 like a float in there. So maybe it'll calm down a little bit on it. Anyway, guys, that's a full glass right there. Now if you can get a glass like that when you buy one in a bar, it'd be worth it, wouldn't it? Don't give me ten fingers of head. About a quarter inch to a half inch on a stout will do just fine for me. I don't need a big monster head on a stout. Especially when you get a lesser pour anyway. You won't get a sixteen ounce pour you'll get an 8 ounce pour and it'll cost you 3 or 4 or 5 dollars more than a 16 ounce pour of a IPA or a lager or something so and I'm flapping my gums so over to the light guys there's more light in here than it's outside now the sun has set but it's pitch black it is pitch black what do you think looks like a stout hmm my buddy Jeppy to the nose we go Roasted malt, caramel, raspberries. Not getting a lot of almonds on the nose. Maybe a hint of some toffee or caramel. And no doubt there's some chocolate. Probably some chocolate malt in there. I doubt they actually put any chocolate. They're getting that from the malt, I would say. I don't know. He might have put a little bit of chocolate in it. Who knows? Well, that was good, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Josh. Thank you, sir. Got a little bit of a bite to it. Raspberry bite. A little bit more bitter than I like. I guess all these uh, lactose beers and milkshake beers has ruined my palate. I've gone further and further away from the 100 plus IBU beers down to the uh, the little less aggressive hopped or bitter beers. Again, that's a tasty beer guys. It's not blowing my hair back or my socks off. The raspberries are a little too prominent for me and too bitter. Decent beer. It's a decent beer. I would probably even step it up to a, a, a tasty beer. Uh, this is probably going to barely scrape into the A category. But I'm going to reserve that judgment till I get to the bottom. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. Not a lot of lacing, and that happens a lot on these big ABB stouts and stuff. This is a little too bitter for my palate. I mean, a couple years ago, two, three years ago, this may have been a lot better to me, but now that I've got out of drinking these high-calorie Imperial Stouts, it's not working for me now. A lot of you guys will probably think this is probably a 10 beer, and it may have been a 10 beer for me at one time, but now that I've gotten away from this style, eh, not so much anymore. It's a little too bitter for my taste. So, final choke. For a decent Hammer Lane beer, 12% get you there quick. If you want to go and you like this style of beer, a little too bitter for my taste. I, the raspberries and the bitterness didn't work for me on this particular one. I didn't get any nuttiness or almonds or uh, heavy chocolate or anything like that. Roasted malt, caramel, toffee, bitter raspberries. That's what I'm getting on this. To me, guys, I'm a little under the score. It's a B-plus for me, 88 on this one. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 92. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.01, barely into their A-minus scale. It's not there for me, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Josh, I do appreciate it sending it to me. Uh, this is, like I said, 
little too bitter. Uh, I like my stouts now just a little bit smoother and uh, easier to drink uh, than these big IBU beers. I mean, this thing tastes like it's 70 IBUs or more. So, uh, I didn't care for that part of the beer. But everything else, I mean, it's a decent beer, guys. Like I said, it's not my cup of tea. So I'll leave it at that. And with that, I will say tomorrow's beer will be Beer Review 4600. Will it be a barley wine or will it be a stout? Tune in to find out. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.